When you think of astronomy, you think of the comets, stars, and the vastness of space. The mechanics behind the science is fascinating, but what is even more interesting is the Vatican's 30-year involvement in an elite summer program that hosts a group of 25 university students from around the world with an interest in astronomy. It's a really great program because you're not only learning about science, you're developing yourself as a, a scientist, but you're also making new friends at the same time. Uh, we learn basically about water in the solar system uh, like, and beyond also. Brother Guy Consomagno is the director of the observatory and runs a summer program in Rome. The selection process is rigorous and the lucky university students that get chosen must prove various scholastic endeavors and skills. They must provide evidence of an educational and career interest in astronomy, and they must demonstrate a strong written and verbal command of the English language. When a student is admitted, we ask them to provide whatever financial assistance to themselves they can in terms of making an airplane ticket, uh, helping out in the hotel rooms. There is no tuition to the school. There is no charge once they arrive here. The, the meals are free. And once they're admitted, if they come up against a financial hardship, we will cover the rest of it. The students that are chosen also get to spend four intense weeks studying specialized topics. The Vatican Observatory Research Group operates a telescope at the Mount Graham International Observatory in Tucson, Arizona. The reason for the random Arizona location is not as random as it sounds. Its dark, dry climate and proximity to the equator make this location a perfect facility to house a telescope and study astronomy. It's really only in modern times that some people have tried to drive a wedge between science and religion, usually for political purposes or economic purposes, and it doesn't hold up. If you're a scientist, you believe that there are laws to be found that explain how things work. But if your belief is in a supernatural God, if you refuse to believe in nature gods, then you're open to the question, how does nature work? In the Middle Ages, astronomy was one of the main courses that universities taught before learning about theology and philosophy. According to Brother Guy, if you believe in God, then wanting to learn how God created the universe is another way of getting to know him. In other words, studying creation can be seen as an act of worship. And for these students, the sky's the limit.